With support from the government of Sierra Leone, the World Bank and the Sierra Leone Economic Diversification Project and a small and medium enterprises development agency, the Melts Magai Technical University has launched the incubation hub at the Godrich campus in Freetown. Given an overview of the project, Dr. Alhaji Ibrahim Sankor disclosed that the $640,000 project provided by the government of Sierra Leone, the World Bank, the Sierra Leone Economic Diversification Project, and the Small and Medium Enterprises Development Agency has benefited three universities, including MMTU and the University of McKinney, that the CTI was contracted and has trained 15 staff on enterprise entrepreneurship skills, organized two pitch nights and one hackathon in addition to making nine successful businesses. Milti Magai Technical University, as the name implies, is a technical university and we tried for, to um, kind of, kind of um, diversify our training and um, pay premium to entrepreneur entrepreneur education um, we teach entrepreneurship right across our programs all in all our three campuses because our target is to have students that could be job creators rather than being um, job um, job seekers that is our main target um, with this incubation hall after the um, pitch nights that we had, we you know we had a lot of students coming in with um, with ideas, innovative ideas. We don't want these ideas to go. So we know our students are rich in ideas. We want to develop. Uh, we want to develop these ideas for the benefit of this nation. So that is why we have this incubation hub. Doctor Monope Chelopiers, who represented the CTI, observed the sense of hope and expectation in students that the past is not prolonged, and the incubation hub will be the birthplace for one of the greatest companies in Africa. Noted that many students have dreams of doing businesses, hope that many of them will become millionaires and appeal to them to take good care of the facility. Mary Jallo, who represented the Sierra Leone Economic Diversification Project, disclosed that it is funded by the World Bank to diversify the economy as the country has been too dependent on mining, especially diamonds, over the years. Underline that Sierra Leone has a lot of potentials, one of which is human capital development, but reiterated that innovation and entrepreneurship will help to advance the country. You got not lucky, you deserve to have been selected. And aside from the technical assistance, which we're happy to hear has been very useful, we also wanted to have a space, a space where students can come and create. I know there's been talk about not coming here to play games. Don't come in here to play games. Come in here to test your ideas. It is not much, but through the small intervention, I am sure that we get great, great potentials, we'll get great solutions. And I'm happy to hear that out of the, the students that pitched, we have nine that are now startups. And I want to just at this point let you know that we are not walking away from MMTU. One thing that had quite impressed us is the peer learning. We've heard about your engagement with other institutions that are part of the program, and that's one thing we wanted. For, for universities to learn from each other. Sheka Esano of the Small and Medium Enterprises Development Agency lamented that Sierra Leone lacks entrepreneurship skills that the agency is promoting in institutions of higher learning since 2019 and that the incubation hall is a solution center that the proposal presented by the Miltimaria Technical University was one of the best.
The Vice Chancellor and Principal of the Military Media Technical University, Professor Dr. Philip John Cano, asserts that he is very grateful for the day and that he is determined to weed out bad eggs in the institution. Reveal that some of the objectives of the Military Media Technical University include making students relevant to create jobs for themselves, to improve the economy as well as create partnership with similar institutions. Milti Magai, we have five objectives. The one that this leadership is working on. We want to have access and relevance. Relevance, when we train our students, they should not go out and look for jobs. They should create jobs. I think I've advocated, I've communicated that several times to many people. The reason why we are finding it difficult, some of us, who are criticizing the current government, I want you to take note. Even if you bring in anybody, I hope you not bring someone that will take us to 1961. <laughs> but anyone that you bring, I want to tell you, if we don't create businesses, the economy of Sierra Leone will never change. And that is why this government is saying, let us diversify our economy. Who we'll depend on the diamond too long? Who we'll depend on the mining sector for too long? The only way we can change this nation by having too many business people. The Chancellor of the Military Technical University, Dr. Victor Cabria, expressed the light for the development, caution students to be attentive, create the difference, and take advantage of the opportunity offered by the incubation hall, and that they must not stop learning and making continuous improvement as well as leave legacy, concluding that Milti Maga Technical University is the best college in the country. Reporting for Star TV News in Freetown, George Elliott Sam.